What's up, KP Nation? It's your girl, Director Shannon, back with another vlog. So, oh, babe. Y'all, y'all see my girlfriend getting thick, all them meals, okay? Thick, okay? Thick, 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 thick. Thick, 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 thick. thick. Okay, y'all, so, currently, y'all, I am a nib. I am about to participate in Carmen's 20 versus Chaotic. Now, I don't want to sound bad, but I don't really know too much about Chaotic besides he little scrappy friend. <laughs> that's that's about it. Um, I'm just here, you know, participate, you know. Like I said, I really don't do these no more, but I show up for people I fuck with. For the people I fuck with, you know, and I like Carmen and so I'm like, okay. I'm gonna just be here. Look, you gotta do that uh Mrs. Nettle shit me. Shimmy. That's how she be doing. She be like Charles, your lunch hey. is ready. <laughs> so, I'm here doing that. And then, I don't really know what we're doing after that. But I'm just going to show y'all a little sneak peek of what we're doing while we're here. You know, because if crochet in the cut, I got to film it. That's all I know, okay? I was going to say in the cut. And you butt. I don't, but we're not going to say that. Because that just sounds like inappropriate. Y'all see my hair? So, look. Y'all know my braids was looking rough. I found that little method. Y'all know TikTok be knowing more than YouTube. Y'all need to step it up. I found this method on TikTok that you can interlock the braids to make them look tight again. It did some. However, these hoes too tight. My head's hurting a little bit, but hmm, it's okay. And y'all look, so when I walked in or whatever, I spoke to everybody, but I hate to play that card. Like I walked in, I looked at the girls. I'm like, oh, I don't know these people. So, mm -hmm. I'm in somebody's way. No, we're not. Oh, my bad. You can use the restroom. Oh, okay. I ain't got to go. Thank you. So, y'all. Oh, thank you. I said I have to use the restroom. I didn't know you was coming, babe, because when I got to go, I got to go. Damn, I've been holding this one to the old lady. Well, y'all, like I was saying before people walked in, I didn't want to conjugate with the with the people I don't know for real. So I just came over here with people I do know, but I'll be back. I recognize your fragrance, hold up. You ain't never gotta say shit. And I know your taste is a little bit high maintenance. Everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Oh, 
Okay, what she trying to do? Come here. She wanna go teach it. What you wanna do? She trying to prove a point. Do that. No. Why you wanna let people spread your cheeks and stuff? I can't get it. I never said I want to spread no cheeks. What are you getting this from? All right, come on now. You're right or no? She trying to lose up with you. I think I'm deserving. She trying to win that slide. She trying to win that slide. What I said I would, but at this point we gotta see how we mesh. And I would just go out handing out gifts. You a lot of birds. What you mean? How you know I'm a lot of birds? How much you weigh? You know they say you ain't supposed to ask them how much they weigh. How much you bitch first? Let me see. Ooh, ooh, come on. Show me some. You got it, Kay. You got it, Kay. I'm making myself real thin. One, two, three. Wait, you know you're a shrine. Kay, you want to go? Oh, you're a shrine. There you go, there you go. You're right. Come on, Kay. One, two, three. Oh! I was trying to help you. I'm pretty sure I can pick you up. Kay, I think you're going to pick him up, though. Let her pick you up, man. You gonna let me pick you up? Let her pick you up. If I can pick you up, you gotta keep me. Ooh. If can't nobody else carry over the threshold but me. Ooh. Come on, okay. Let her pick up. So you can pick right or left. Let's see. Right or left. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Like they really gonna get the nigga at the end of the video. I just come here to do my part, be memorable, and go home. I don't even care. This nigga been talking about he ain't, he ain't showered in two days. Who gonna lick his penis while I start ill? Please, please. So I don't know you outside of little scrap. Look, and he was up there quoting his little famous quotes. I ain't nobody heard that shit before. I lied, tried to pretend like I heard it before because he had already said it, but I ain't heard. I don't know him. This man walked in with a whole village of people. With a baby, one of the dudes was Yab uh, YBN. Uh, he brought one of the other little rap dudes with him. I noticed him, but I can't think of his name. I think his name is YBN Namar, YBN Amar. But I know, mm, if you know, you know, you know, you know. He was in there, but they all just looked bland and just. Mm, and I was trying to figure out. I hope all y'all didn't ride in that Sprinter. Y'all, he had to get in that Sprinter. That Sprinter small, so he talking all this big shit, but got small money because couldn't even get a big Sprinter. But that's my personal opinion. But y'all, now I'm on the way to go link up with uh, DJ Jazz and my friend Kayla. Y'all, I was supposed to go somewhere else, but let me tell you why. I'm choosing my piece, right? And a lot of people in Houston don't like me for whatever reason, because I'm pretty, or maybe I just look better, or maybe my content's better, or maybe I got more clout, or maybe because I know so many people, or maybe because I'm just her. I don't fucking know. I can't tell you. A lot of people in Houston don't like me. So, I'm not finna go nowhere around people that don't like me. And it's not because I'm scary. It's because I'm actually a very bold bitch. I'm gonna ask you, girl, what's your problem? You sitting over there mugging me from across the room. Girl, what, what's the problem? You can't hate from outside of the club. You can't even get in. <laughs> like, what is, and that's me. Like, I'm at the point where if you can't tell me like a grown ass bitch, like, look, this is what I don't like, or look, you been popping your shit lately and it made me envious, or look, you you got you got what I, I wanted and I don't got it. Like tell me if you're not gonna, I just don't want to be around you. 
I don't respect what, what I've always said. If it ain't directed, they ain't respected. And there's nothing respectful about an indirect closet bitch. If you're going to be a bitch to me, you better be a bold bitch to me. Be a bitch to me in public, but don't be a closet bitch to me. Because, bitch, I'm not finna come looking for you for you to be rude to me. Fuck out of here. So that's kind of why I'm choosing tonight participate in certain activities tonight i also am removing myself from certain groups of people so look me protecting me means if it hurts me if it's something that i feel might genuinely hurt my feelings and you my friend and you know it hurt my feelings and you expect for me to be around it and ignore the fact that it hurt my feelings i don't feel that you my friend so therefore i don't want to be around that because my friend is not going to put me in a situation that's going to get me hurt or hurt me or a situation that may not be for me so it's just a lot of people I don't care to be around because a lot of people be chasing clout. And I'm going to be honest, all these backpacking bitches, and I'm going to go ahead and say it, backpacking ass bitches. As in, a lot of the people that I feel be leaving me out low-key, only one, only one or two people out the whole group did the shit on their own. Everybody else got there from backpacking. As in, most of y'all latched on to somebody else, rolled their way to the top. Now y'all feel like y'all got to look clout and you want to hang out with people that got clout when ultimately all of them got more clout more talent more creativity and more everything than you i don't want to do that because at the end of the day i've created everything that i'm doing i'd rather build my own circle than go be a part of somebody else's so i just feel going forward if you know i don't fuck with that bitch don't motherfucking invite me and that's i just like you know about you know i don't fuck with them don't invite me keep me away from them I don't want to be around nobody I don't like, and that's just me protecting my peace. I'm very sensitive. I'm going to be honest. I'm sensitive. My feelings do get kind of hurt a little bit easily. If I'm cool with 15 people and one person out of the 15 don't fuck with me, so you telling me that one person going to make it to where y'all can't speak to me, I can't sit with y'all, I can't do that, it just lets me know that 14 of y'all ass-kissing ass bitches and y'all can kiss my ass too. <laughs> and that's how I feel about it. I'm not finna go put myself in an uncomfortable situation for my feelings to be kind of hurt over some shit I don't deserve. So, leave me where the fuck I'm at. Mind my business. Okay? Being, I would say, big, blonde, and beautiful. Pink. This is pink, but whatever. Still, leave me where the fuck I'm at. And that's just me being honest. I'm not gonna say this no more. If I don't like certain people, I will prefer to stay away from them. I am 30 years old. I have the right to choose my peace. If you think I got to go motherfucking pretend, negotiate, manipulate myself, or do anything like that to be around a motherfucker that don't like me, you need to go check your motherfucking self because I don't know who raised you an ass kissing veal, but I wasn't raised like that, and I would never be raised like that. If I don't like it, baby, I don't like it, and I ain't coming, and I got the right to not come. Anyways. With that being said, I'm going where I want to go, where I'm light. I'll let y'all know when I get there. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never got to say shit. And I know your taste is a little bit high maintenance. Everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower won't go in the dark, would you trust it? I mean, I write.
wash your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh, and I know your taste is a little bit high maintenance. Ooh, everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in the dark, ooh, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated. Fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh. And I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Ooh. Everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in the dark, ooh, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you when. I recognize your fragrance, hold up. Y'all, so we home, and I'm eating Jack in the Box again. I, I don't know. I guess I love Jack in the Box. And we're watching a movie, so be sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell another friend, tell their granddaddy. This burger finna smack.